Hello there and welcome back to the Master Moldy channel. I've just watched over the footage from yesterday's video and I thought it was a pretty good video if I do say so myself until I realised I forgot to clip in my mic. So I really don't know how the audio is going to be but I am recording a second video, another double video in the same day. Well, for you, you would have had to wait a day for this video. So I do apologise, I've got to keep the daily uploads up somehow we are so close to a year on that by the way it's crazy i started this a year ago but there are some really big updates coming in the near future so stay tuned be sure to drop a like if you do end up enjoying this video and subscribe so you don't miss out hopefully i'll have an update towards the end of the week we're looking at probably towards friday so i can share the good news with you if all goes well but today we will be taking some of our favorite star wars characters again from the original trilogy I don't know why I'm doing so much original trilogy stuff. Get more clones, get more prequel stuff out. Don't worry, it's coming in the future. So many of you requested to do a minifigure heights for the prequel characters. I'm looking at doing one for both the prequels and the Clone Wars. There are so many minifigures, I might have to split it up into two videos. Unless you just want a full 40 minute video of me talking about all the different characters heights, in which case it'll be on its way in the next few weeks. But first off, Let's take a look at some of the characters and what I'm going to be doing today is adding faces and hairs for the actors behind some of the most iconic characters from the original trilogy. And I think we'll start off with the minifigure that inspired this whole video. C-3PO, in the new set I would have really loved if they gave us an Anthony Daniels reference into it who is the actor behind C-3PO. I'm really going to test my knowledge with these characters. I should have had a list of the actors before I started. Heyo, it's already too late now, but I have created this Anthony Daniels. I'll try and find some images to put up on the screen so you can sort of see the resemblance. And I'll be honest, most of these minifigures are made using my spare pieces. So I know there's better pieces that look a bit more like the actors, but this is the best that I've got to hand without having to take pieces off another minifigure. I would really love for Lego to give us something like this. They're doing a lot of fun sets and I think having a set with perhaps not the actors specifically because I know there are some fees involved that Lego do not want to get into. But just to give us some characters in Star Wars costumes because it would also give us a printed Chewbacca torso which this is what Chewie looks like. Well this is the snowy version because funnily enough I don't own that many Chewbacca's, but I have given, well, removed Chewie's head in the least brutal way possible and given Chewie Peter Mayhew's head. Again, I apologize if I get any of the names or I pronounce any of them wrong. This is from memory, just because I spoke about in my July slash August set release review, about a custom Anthony Daniels and I thought why don't we get this for other minifigures there are a load of figures we don't actually see the people behind the face it looks like he could be one of the Beatles really but these were the best faces I could find Peter Mayhew wore glasses a lot in these set photos especially when reading Chewbacca's line so I really wanted to capture that and we'll move straight on to another character there's a few fun ones in here Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker in his Stormtrooper disguise. They wear their helmets a few times, so I thought I have to include Mark Hamill in this set. Even though we already see his face for Luke, it's covered for like five seconds in the movie. Similarly, we also have Han Solo in his Stormtrooper uniform, which again, pretty much same reason as Luke, just wanted to fill out the cast and I really wanted to do the same for Leia when she's in the Boosh disguise. But I don't own any of their minifigures. I'm not quite sure when the last time was we got a minifigure like that, if we did. So I'd love to see something like that in the Jabba Salbarge, for instance. Because if they're going to include Max Rebo and all the other rumoured characters that weren't on the barge, Bib Fortuna, they both show up in Book of Boba Fett or at the end of Mandalorian. Neither one of them was on the Salbarge. So I'd love to get a Boosh Disguise Leia to add to this collection because she's really missing from this video. But we'll move back to C-3PO's side. Next to Anthony Daniels, we do 
have his partner who apparently they got on just as well on set as they did on the movie which i'm sure made for a lot of fun for the other actors and actresses involved but of course inside r2d2 was kenny baker and you might not realize that there was actually someone inside r2 for quite a bit of star wars just waddling around I doubt they put anyone in the one with wheels, but I don't really know how they'd have got it to move. I assume that's just a big remote control R2. Again, running out of faces, so I've actually used one of the Death Troopers heads for Kenny. I think it definitely gets the point across and is hilarious to see a head popping out of R2-D2. Next up, we'll go with everyone's favourite Emperor the Emperor, and of course that is Darth Sidious. Now to get Sidious out of costume, there is an easy fix. I only have one Emperor at hand, so I'm afraid you're gonna have to watch for the decapitation of Sidious, but I'm gonna take the Palpatine minifigure because I wouldn't be surprised if Palpatine was about Ian's age when he was the Emperor because he showed up, well, there was a 20 year difference, nearly 20 years, about 15 years difference between the two. So maybe the white hair should be that tan color, but we've got a Chancellor Emperor with Ian McDermid's head on it. Again, apologies for the pronunciation. I don't follow too much of the behind the scenes. You'll think with the amount of time I've seen these at conventions or saying I'd know how to say their name, I have no idea for the most part. Now we couldn't have this video without most people's favorite bounty hunters. I wanna say everyone's, We've since got Jango Fair, we've got Cad Bane. There are some really cool bounty hunters in Star Wars. Let me know your favorite bounty hunter in the comments. But I think a lot of people really do like this Boba Fett. And I made a poll asking about customs recently. I think I picked the wrong minifigure. Lego have absolutely nailed this minifigure and there's really nothing any custom could do to improve it. There's just nothing you could do. I don't think side of the leg printing really benefits this character. This is the perfect minifigure. And Boba Fett is originally played before, I think the special editions actually voice over Boba Fett for Thames voice to make it a bit more coherent. But originally it was Jeremy Bullock. Again, I am sorry if I mispronounce his name, but there was an original Boba Fett. And I think the portrayal was really, really cool. There was no need really to change anything because someone's voice definitely can change as they get older. And everything Star Wars tried to explain they could have left his voice, but I have given him his helmet in his hand and added a head and hair to represent him at the time, which I've tried to do for most of these characters and they're looking really cool in the line. We have three more minifigures left to go and I have to include Darth Vader, but which Darth Vader would I pick? Now, looking back at this, I could probably go with a James L. Jones, a David Prowse Vader, and even have a few more because I have so many versions. When I pick up the new Star Wars magazine, I'll actually be making a video showing off every single different Darth Vader I have. So keep an eye out for that. But I've actually gone with a Hayden Christensen Vader, which doesn't really fit for the original trilogy. I mean, he did get in the Vader suit a little bit for Kenobi, which is during the time of the Emperor, but I honestly couldn't pick between the voice or the body of Darth Vader. And now before we get to the big finale, we have Wicket. I was looking at my display and seeing what other characters I could go for. Gal Akbar was a strong contender but I think Warwick has had so many roles in Star Wars. I actually made a video. I'll try and find the video where I mention every single one of Warwick's roles in Star Wars because, well, I didn't know half of them. He's pretty much appeared in, I don't know if it still keeps up with Mandalorian, probably excluding the shows, but every other piece of Star Wars content, especially all the big movies he's shown up with. And I struggled to get a head and hair for this because of how young he was. So I've gone with the face I used for the younger loop because Warwick is so smiley in the behind the scenes images. I don't think I've seen an image of him playing the Ewok where he's not smiling and it just looks like he's in some sort of onesie because we don't have the printed fur on the torso. So I'd love, even if they use the same one for the Ewoks, the same printing for the Ewoks and the Wookiees and they just print a furry torso, 
I think that just adds so much to the Lego minifigure, but it's the same with a lot of characters that have something covering the torso. Unless the torso is at all showing, we don't normally get printed torsos. I can't think of any example. So we have Warwick Davis to add to our collection. And last but not least, thank the maker, we have a custom George Lucas. This whole saga would not be possible without him. And he does have an exclusive Lego minifigure. I'll show you on screen. But this custom uses Kenobi's head and hair. Lego love the headpiece. Why not use it for George Lucas? It don't look too far off. And it's a bit past his original trilogy days, I know. He looks a bit more wizened up like he did during the time of the prequels. But I think it was a minifigure I needed to make on this list and include with all his other characters behind him, which without George just wouldn't be possible. Now, there are a ton of other people that have worked so hard on making these costumes and everything else in the Star Wars universe. And I think the 25th anniversary of Lego Star Wars would have been a great time to pay homage to a lot of them. But the problem is what we don't realise as consumers is especially some of these actors and actresses that have passed and have foundations, there is some monetary transaction involved in making these characters. And when Lego are trying to give us characters at no extra cost to the set, we saw fives in the Tantive. That set was amazing value for that ARC Trooper alone. I'm sure Fives is going to go for a lot more than that in the future, though. That is not investment advice by any means. But it is a bit hard to keep the prices low when then you're taking a cut, giving it to this family, giving it to this person. I can completely understand why they didn't, but I still would have loved for it to happen. Lucas Filoni, all the other directors and creatives, and even some of the costume designers for the original trilogy they did an amazing job and continue to do at lucasfilm and it would have been nice to have paid homage to them in some way even if we just got a wacky ton of lego city characters in star wars costumes or some random people perhaps they can even mix up the costumes we can get an emperor face in a chewbacca costume and just play around have fun like they are with rebuild the galaxy because fives young leia they're figures we can get in sets down the line when LEGO hopefully up their production line on Star Wars because we all know it's probably making them enough money to give a few more sets. But let me know what characters you would love to see if you want to see another one of this or what you'd love to have seen been given out in the anniversary minifigure series instead. And don't forget to hit like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe for that news that's on the horizon and check out all the videos on the screen now, including the older one. And may the bricks be with you. Oh, I